Today we are going to be focusing on online dating and the separated man. And if you are dating a separated man already because you found out after you got invested in some way, or if you just met him, what you do and say to help your chances of having a future with this man should you like him. I have some interesting stories about that. There isn't a one size fits all, but there are ways that help us to possibly get a better probability of having something secure, committed, eventually even marriage with a separated man. Because again, they run the gamut of separated for years and years, newly separated. We have to do a little investigative work to some degree if we have already become invested. So we're going to go into all of that today and I'm going to give you some whys of having men come at you online saying they are divorced when in truth they are just separated and why there is a danger to getting involved with a separated man just like if you were getting involved with a non-separated man meaning a married man because legally we know separated is married but there is a delineation and when you have already fallen for a separated man, there is going to be some investment and it's how you handle it to see if you're going to have a chance to make this go the distance. So who am I to talk about this? I am Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach, licensed social worker and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a man decides to make you the one and in the book i have an entire chapter about the why of married men cheating and this can kind of correlate for you to understand the mind of the male and why he feels like he is doing the best thing possible. So we don't want to necessarily vilify a man when he comes to you from online representing himself as divorced when in truth he's just separated. One of the reasons is a potentially benign reason. He is not purposefully doing something to hoodwink you, outright lie, etc. He's kind of gilding the lily, so to speak, because he intends to be divorced and he knows that he is going through with it. Maybe he's filed. They've lived separately for years. So he is in a sense considering himself divorced. So whether or not it's been signed, sealed, delivered, and legally done with, he is considering himself divorced, feels he's divorced, and so he represents himself online because he does want to move forward with dating. Now, that doesn't mean he's in any way ready for another committed relationship. And in my book, I go through it from kind of start to finish, meaning understanding how men love, how they commit, and why a man will not be ready to take on another commitment when newly divorced, let alone separated. Now, again, I go on the probability side of the scale, not possibility, because there are always possibilities. And as Les Brown used to say, if there has been anybody ever in history who has done what you're hoping will be done in any case. It's possible. Sure. Is it possible that you meet a newly separated man and you go the distance with that man? Absolutely. I have a client who did just that. And I'll tell you a little bit about that. It is possible, but I like to deal with better probabilities. Because when we do that, 
We help ourselves to get what we desire and deserve. So a man represents himself online as newly separated. Let's look at a couple of things that you'll want to do. Pass him by if you're on any kind of site that actually it's a possibility that he shows that he's newly separated. Of course, because we know that the probability is low. Now, if you have started seeing someone who represented himself online as divorced and he is not, you find out he's just separated, this can still possibly go the distance, but the probability is lower, but you're already invested. So you want to attempt to make it work. It depends where you are in your dating. So in other words, if you've gone on three dates and he says, look, I want to come clean. I want to tell you I'm not really divorced. I'm just separated. Well, the question next, of course, is how long have you been separated? If he says years, you still have much more information. Why is it that they have not completed the divorce? Could be complicated financially, children, etc. But until a man is signed, sealed, delivered, divorced, he still feels that that is his family, that is his team. One of the reasons why married men will justify cheating rather than leaving their wife is that men go by a set of principles typically that you don't leave your team whether that's a team they just watch that's my team and no matter what he's not going to leave that team because he has made a decision about it that that's his team and he's made a commitment to it he almost feels a responsibility to it to watch that game you have likely witness this for yourself in some way shape or form with a man in your life and this is what happens to men because men commit and bond through making a formal public decision and declaration most typically that's why we want a man to commit to us in marriage because then and only then does he bond Men bond for making the formal public decision and then living up to the responsibility. We, as women, don't do that. We just commit out of time and sex and feelings. We love someone, we're committed, and we bond. We don't have to think about it. This is not true with men. So, when a man who is married or is separated steps out on his wife he does that rather than if married go to her and want a divorce because he never intends to leave the team he just wants the fun of playing on a new team and when i say playing meaning just that most typically he has no thought of investing in a new team and that's why we want to be super, super aware, conscious of, and attempt not to become involved with a man who is separated, and of course, if he is married. Because your probability is incredibly low. Again, people have done it. People have been a married man and ended up marrying that man. But it is not the norm, it is a rarity. And I always say, think of yourself as an exceptional woman, which you are, but do not think of yourself as the exception to the rule or you will tend to be hurt. So let's look at one case that I have had because again, most women, if they are working with me for online dating, when we know that he is separated, if at all possible, we do one thing. And that is, I've really enjoyed meeting with you and I would have liked to have seen where this might go, but I have to put the full stop here and now. If things change for you 
and you become single again, really free, and I am not with someone, you know, you can feel free to reach out to me then, but I respectfully ask that you don't until such time. This is a must for a number of reasons, but the most important is that he will continue to consume your time, attention, and affection, but not be in any male headspace to think about commitment again. I want you to think about it this way, that if you have a beloved puppy that you have had for 12, 15, 16 years perhaps, and that puppy passes away, you love puppies, you think about having another in the future, but for the foreseeable future, typically most people will not go and get another puppy, no matter how much they love puppies. Why? You need to be free for a while. You don't want the responsibility. You need to heal from the loss. All combined, sometimes, you know, intermingled feelings. But typically most people will not just go out and get another puppy to whom they have to be responsible. They just won't. Now, there are people all on the ends of the scale. But I go with probabilities. And the probability of a separated or newly divorced man being ready, willing, and able to take on the responsibility a man sees commitment as being. Make no mistake, you as a woman view commitment as a natural outgrowth of love. A man views commitment as a responsibility. And he will not be ready to take that on. And if he has little puppies at home, meaning children, even a harder decision for him to make. Because again, he can feel a whole host of feelings like guilt, shame around the failure of divorce. Men take divorce as a very big failure. We cannot lessen the effect of that on a man. So if he has children, we want to think about really a good five years of divorced in order for him to truly be ready to think about commitment again. No children involved, a bit different, but again, because of the failure aspect for the man, we want to think about anywhere from a three-year range as being he may be ready to think about it again when no children are involved. The younger the children, you add years to it. So I have a client who actually met someone and started dating him and found out when she had fallen in love, he was telling her he was in love, that not only was he not divorced, he hadn't moved out of the house. Yeah. In his mind, they were completely going towards divorce. We don't even know if the wife knew at the time, but he wasn't really even physically separated. And she came to me already invested. And just, I think, six months worth of work, she got her engagement. When you do things in a way that is high value, leads the man to feeling like he cannot live without you. I mean, this was a real long shot. He wasn't even physically out of the house and there were children involved. I mean a real long shot. There was no question that he loved her. And make no mistake, a man who is married even and having an affair, he can love that woman with whom he's having an affair and not be in love with his wife, but the chances statistically of him leaving his wife for that woman are extremely low. Look it up. Yes. And that is because we as women live via our emotions. Men live via their decisions. This is one of the five big concepts in my book. I hope you will get it. When you understand the way men love differently and their 
feelings will not factor into their decision making in a way that if you're a woman yours and mine will we live via our feelings and men their biggest thing of all in their life is to not be female so they will suck it up and be without their love in order to do what they feel is right by their team meaning their wife who they've made an oath to again I go a lot more into this in my book they do that because they feel that is the right thing to do you don't leave your responsibilities you don't just go with your feelings you do what is right by your wife and any children now we would say well that's not the right thing to do the right thing is if you love somebody else to go with them that's because you're living by your feelings very very different and when you understand this you understand why it's important not to fall for a man married or separated because in the separation he hasn't formally left that team i trust this is helpful for you today there are all manner of unique situations that i talk about on my podcast and i talk about with women who come to me they come to me typically anonymously cuz it's just audio and we talk about situations like this each situation has a unique component to it there are general rules that we talk about here general principles that will help you but make no mistake if you are in a situation like this you want to get an objective professional viewpoint to help you move through it navigate it and perhaps you could be like that client of mine that i told you about but regardless after doing the work you will know whether he can go the distance or know whether you need to move on and that is a great gift you want to give yourself it's very hard to see the forest for the trees when we are in love and i often say i'm the person that can help you see the forest and make the best decisions for yourself in dating relationships etc I trust this was helpful. Let me know. Leave your comments below. I will also link another video that is very helpful if you are dealing in a separated situation. Understand that men online will say they are separated again because and this isn't the best of them doing it. As I said in the beginning of the video, why they justify because they feel that they will be getting divorced and it's just a formality that's an okay justification not saying it's right and i wish they wouldn't but we're going with what they do the other end of the spectrum is they do it because they know if they put they are just separated and not divorced they are taking away a lot of opportunities for themselves so we don't want to just assume when someone who is putting themselves as divorced on a profile that that is actually the case make sure that you early on find it out and here's a tip for you second or third date you say you know i know that people will tend to say they're divorced with all good intentions because people who are separated feel that they're getting divorced but i'm wondering if it's truly been a signed sealed delivered divorce for you and your wife or if you are just separated and if you do it in that way and he feels safe he will give you the truth then you know and then we need to get to work i hope you would contact me then because if you are truly invested and you feel this man is worth going the distance i hope you would take my objective opinion on it in hopes to get you to a place where you actually can know if it's possible to go the distance and again it's going to be about your timeline so watch the video i will tag here 
If you like this and you want more on topics like this, hit the like button. Also the red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos with the tips like you just heard here. Until next time. I trust you got a lot of useful information from today's video, but you may want more because information is not transformation. If you are struggling in your dating or romantic life in general with a relationship, you want an ex back. I work with women in programs and you can also look on my website for my self-help courses. My website will provide you all the information you need to make a decision of whether or not you are ready to work with a coach and really move the needle on where you are in your romantic life to get what you desire and deserve. I do this using what I call a two-pronged approach, meaning manifesting on the one hand and doing the work of what I call the mechanics of men. I take the approaches and strategies, for example, some of which are in my book, but you can hear a lot more here on my playlist. For example, the Make Him Wonder playlist. That is a podcast where I actually talk with real women in a coaching conversation for however long is needed. You can hear many of those conversations here on a playlist and if you want more and in their entirety, you can join the 8020 Wonder Club. This is all on my website, again, coachpaulagrooms.com. I am one of the few coaches that actually do the work with clients, not a Facebook group or something of the sort, but the actual individual work that will really make the difference between success or just continuing in a situation that is not servicing you for your life's goals and your romantic dreams. Because I have found that we as women, when we are satisfied in our personal lives, our romantic lives, we thrive in all other areas of our life. That's why I do the work that I do because women are love in the world. We deserve to get the love that we give out and we deserve to be able to give it. And I know that you get a lot from this channel, but you can get a lot more and you can get, again, transformation versus information. So check it out at coachpollockrooms.com and I trust that we will be talking soon.